from polotol.com and portingkit.com and in this video tutorial I'm gonna uh, focus on uh, uh, the installation uh, of porting kit and how to install uh, geogida.com port and the steam port so um, let's uh, get uh, quickly to it because uh, it'll take a few minutes of course to explain and to uh, uh, to install so um, what you need to do is um, how to install a game in Porting Kit is to first download, of course, the Porting Kit app. Uh, you can do that on the portingkit.com um, website. Uh, just go to the download here on the left. You click on download Porting Kit uh, macOS 10.8. You will see that it will download uh, the zip file with the Porting Kit app. Um, to make use of uh, Porting Kit uh, 3, um, it is required uh, for Catalina to uh, disable SIP. And uh, how to do that, and, and of course, some other questions uh, what you may face, uh, you can find on the Porting Kit tab, like um, uh, here how to install it, and if you get a message about the malicious software, how to prevent it. And also for uh, Catalina, some extra steps, how to disable SIP. So download first uh, the porting kit. If you click on it, you can uh, move the, the app to the apps folder or application folder. Just move it. Well, for me, it says uh, to replace it because I already have it. In your case, it just will only move it. And then you can uh, start the application on the, on the application folder. Um, let's see, port a kit. Uh, let's see, porting kit. Yes, as you can see here, there's also uh, a 4.0 button. And um, if you go to porting kit here, you can open it. there we go um, important of course is uh, my system in Catalina is zip disabled and that's needed and required for Porticid 3.0 but for uh, Porticid 4.0 which is in uh, still in development uh, but uh, very soon will be released um, there uh, you can uh, use it with zip enabled and uh, a lot of other uh, well shortcomings uh, has been fixed here so you won't get uh, any uh, message about malicious software because uh, the software will be signed and notarized so um, well this is uh, really cool really stable as well so um, this uh, will come very soon um, and will be especially very interesting for uh, the Catalina users and up of course Okay, let's go back to Portikit 3. Um, well, we got here a library with games. And I just want to show you um, how to install uh, Caesar 3. Um, well, this is a GG.com game. If you uh, don't own uh, the game yet, you can download uh, the game first from Portikit. If you don't own it, you can purchase it there. Uh, you can use the links here it will go straight to the page and then you can uh, create an account what's very important is that you have to download the offline backup game installer file so um select uh, uh well first click on the arrow here that you can see the setup file download the backup game installer into your download folder i already have done that so it's already in my download folder so if you've done that, you can go uh, to the port back to the porting kit, and uh, then uh, go back to the porting kit, and then install the game. You can click on install, click on install now. Here it shows again that you need to use the download uh, the offline backup game installer file. And uh, then you can click sure, I've downloaded it. You click on next, accept. 
and it will start the download uh, of the script. Then it will download and extract the uh, engine, the wine engine, and then it will um, create the wine prefix. And then we have to uh, wait a little bit, then it will uh, run the wine tricks needed to run this game. So it will go step by step uh, installing. So and then we come to the part which normally um, in the older uh, porting kit it will pop up with the um, the installation but here from uh, the newer version of uh, porting kit 3 uh, it's I think uh, 3 dot well, the latest version uh, you have to select the setup file so in this case we're going to install CSO 3 so you have to select that setup file from your download folder and then the installation will start it's a small extra step but it's required especially for Catalina because otherwise you can get well get into some bugs so it's really important um, well, to select it as you can go here to uh, the porting kit it's from um, if you get this version 3.042 or 41 or 40 or 39 or something it starts there that you have to select the setup file um, um, to install the game it's quite logic but um, uh, earlier it went automatic it will automatically um, automatically um, recognize the setup file and start to install but from um, well this version in Portica 3 you have to select it and also uh, with Portica 4 you have the same thing you have to select the setup file in order to install the game it won't go automatically anymore and the reason why is because of um, 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 all kind of security uh, things in uh, Catalina and um, yeah so you have to select it in order to install it so it's just one little step you have to do just select it and then porting kit will do the rest um, as you can see this will be uh, installed in the background as you saw and then we click on exit and you always have to wait before the installation is totally successful as you can see here in the corner click on close close and then you will see that uh, in the bottom CSO 3 is installed well if you then click on a play then uh, CSO 3 will start well I'm gonna exit straight away yes I'm gonna leave well then we have uh, also uh, Steam and for Steam uh, uh, games you have to do the same thing uh, it's even more simple because if you click on the library you're gonna search in a database for H, H of Empires 2 I've already installed it but only you have to the thing you have to do is go to number H of Empires 3 I don't think it's installed there you just click on install so if you click on install you click on install now you click on next I accept and this will automatically install um, the pre-configured steam uh, wrapper uh, for uh, uh, in this case Age of Empire 3 and then um, you can uh, um, after this installation process you can log in into steam and then download and play the game Then you can download and play the game. It's very simple. So in this case, we have to wait because it will download all the wine tricks. Uh, that's very important in this case is if um, in this installation process um, you don't need to uh, don't need to log in into Steam before the installation process is finished 
So first wait out the whole installation and just as the last previous install um, is that uh, um, uh, you have to wait before that um, little batch appear that the installation has been uh, been done um, well totally um, and then after that installation then you're uh, all ready to go just then uh, you can click on play again and then um, uh, the steam um, window will appear and then um, you can log in and then download the game and play I'll show you that in a moment well this uh, one trick takes a little little while so uh, we'll be right back This is the installable start. You click on next, and uh, next, next. Uh, these like this one. And that's important that uh, just uh, click on the close, close, and then the whole installation process is finished correctly. And then you can, uh, if you uh, want to launch it, you can click on play. Then Steam will update. And then you will got a login, you will get a login screen of Steam. Where you can log in uh, into your uh, Windows Steam, and there you can download and play your uh, Windows games. Well, in this case, Age of Empire Three. But yeah, um, other games may also work in this wrapper. But uh, and there we go. You can log in with your account and then uh, download and play. So uh, thank you for watching and see you back on Portal.com. Bye-bye.